Hello everyone, this is Code Zealot, and welcome to this brand new series where I'm going to help you with all of your Minecraft command problems. Now, the way this is going to work is you can send me a private message telling me what your problem is, what you're trying to do, and if you have a project you're working on, the map for that project, or any other data that I might need to be able to solve your problem, and send that to me in that private message, and then I'm going to make a video just for you, showing you the solution to your problem. So let's get started with our very first video where we're going to help out somebody named Gaming Angelo HD. Okay guys, so the problem that we're going to be solving today for Gaming Angelo HD is this. We want to be able to use the clear command to remove a Minecraft item and then replace it with the exact same item, only this time having NBT data that allows it to only be placed on specific blocks that we specify. So, let's go ahead and get started by making the crafting table, which is the item that Gaming Angelo HD has requested we use. So if we get some oak wood planks from our magic box and craft that item, we'll see that we have the normal crafting table available for us. If we pick it up and place it in our inventory, however, we'll see that it has been updated with a can be placed on tag. This is exactly what we're trying to do, so let's go ahead and look at how this solution is made possible with commands. So here it is, the solution to the problem. We have three command blocks and a comparator. That is all you need. Now I want to point out that this only works on single player and it's for map makers. So if you try and do this on your multiplayer server, it will not work for obvious reasons. So just pointing that out so people don't try and use this on their multiplayer server and they get confused when the solution doesn't work for them, since it's only for map makers in single player. So here we go. We have a repeating command block on the left. And what this does is it tests if a player has a crafting table in their inventory. So the command we're using is test for, and it's pretty straightforward. We're using the data tags to specify that we want to look for the nearest player who has an item in their inventory with the ID of crafting table. If this is true, the comparator will turn on. So to go ahead and do that, let's just give ourselves a crafting table and see that the comparator has in fact turned on. Now, the next step is we want to actually take that crafting table and remove it from their inventory because we do not want them to have that crafting table since they can place it anywhere they want in our map. And since we're using adventure mode and we're map making, we want to have complete control over what players are doing. So, what we do is we use the clear command to remove the crafting table. And then we have a command block that is set to chain. And what it does is as soon as that previous command activates and it takes the crafting table away, this command block activates and it gives us a crafting table, which is just one of them with a data value of zero. And then we have our NPT data for the can place on which allows us to specify that we only want to place this on grass blocks. So if we go ahead and take one last look at this, we'll see that we have the grass block as that value. But if we go in here and you know change this to something else like stone, and then we get rid of this, and then we pick it back up, we can now place it on stone, and it will work just as we want it to and if we want to add multiple tags, you can do that. I'm not going to say how to do it here right now, but it's basic. You just literally add more tags here with the proper syntax. So there you go. This is the solution to your problem, Gaming Angelo HD. And I hope this video helps you out. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button, comment and tell others, and also subscribe if you haven't already. So that way you can be a part of this channel where we're gonna be looking at many other problems for other people that you might find helpful and you might find a concept that you like that they're working with on their map and be able to add it to yours. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.